Hi there. House of the Rising Sun. Uh, great song. This is uh, the notes say uh, from the pizza tapes. Garcia Grisman and Tony Rice recorded in 1993, released in 2006. And so this is going to be for ukulele and for guitar. The chords are uh, both for the guitar and the ukulele. So it's the same chords, uh, but they're going to be a D minor, F, G, B flat, D minor, F, A for the first part, and then D minor, F, G, B flat, D minor, A, D minor for the second part. So that sounds like this when you play them one right after another uh, on the ukulele. And we'll do ukulele first and then do the guitar. So first is your D minor, then your F, and I can do that by just lifting one finger up. Now a G, now a B flat, again D minor, again F, and A, lift up my first finger and put it on the first fret of the C string. There's my A right there. Now again D minor, and F, a G, again B flat, D minor, and A, and D minor. So the strumming pattern might be something like this. Now to play those individual chords, the easiest way to know to play these, the easiest way to play these that I know uh, is to put your fingers in a certain place. So everybody seems like they finger chords differently, but um, how I'm going to show you here is a it's it's one way to do it, and it's easy to move between chords, which is a, a big stumbling block for folks. Really, folks can play a chord and they can strum. But the trick is to move between one chord and the next uh, quickly so that you're not breaking your strumming pattern. First, your D minor. You can play that with your second finger on the second fret of the G string, third finger on the second fret of the C string, and first finger on the first fret of your E string. And A string, of course, would play open. It's like lovely D minor right there. Now F, easy enough, because all we're going to do is lift up a uh, ring finger. So the only difference between uh, uh, your D minor, there's your D minor F, lifting up the ring finger uh, off of the C string. And now G, of course, that looks like a triangle pointing downward on the sec from the second fret. Nice G right there. Now B flat, uh, that guy I play like so. So you could play first finger on the first fret of A and E, second finger on the second fret of C string, right? And third finger on the third fret of G string. Pretty good B minor right there. Back to your D minor again, back to your F again, and your A. A now is going to be take the first finger here, which was on the first fret of the uh, A string, and I'm going to move it to the first fret of the C string. So now what I've got is second finger on the second fret of the G string, first finger on the first fret of the C string, and E and A are played open. So I'm covering uh, playing all four strings, but I'm only covering two strings with uh, with each finger. Right? So that's the first part. Ready? D minor to an F. Again, G triangle shape. Now B flat. Back to a D minor to an F and to an A. Lift the first finger, put it on the first fret of C string. And now the second line, D minor. F, lift up that second finger to the G, B flat, uh, D minor again, and A, and D minor. Again, the strumming pattern. Bump, 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 bump.
And all you'll do is repeat that pattern uh, over uh, three or four times, and that is the how many verses you have to do. So repeating the first verse over and over again. Um, and then when you get to the last, uh, last to the fourth verse, just repeat the first verse, and that's a nice way to go out.